Hi, this is John O'Connor from McKnight's. I'm here in Chicago at the 20th Annual NIC Conference. I'm speaking with Bob Kramer, President of NIC. Uh, thanks for joining us today, Bob. It's great. Glad to be here. Glad to have you all. Great. Uh, uh, Bob, can you tell us briefly about what the general mood seems to be this year at the show? Well, I think uh, the mood is actually pretty upbeat, partly indicated by the fact that we're sold out. We've got over 1,800 people here. And I think the sense is for those on the provider side that they've survived the worst that an economy could possibly throw at them. And they know that there are better, you know, bright days ahead for the industry. Sure. I think one of the key questions, obviously, that, and that brings people here is when will capital return to the sector? Mm -hmm. And what sort of form will it take? And also, how costly will it be? Yeah, I think those are pretty good questions. Uh, Bob, uh, your organization is re releasing its latest construction trends report. Uh, can you talk briefly about some of the highlights in the report? Sure. Uh, yes, we're releasing today uh, our uh, 2010 construction trends report that we do jointly with American Seniors Housing Association. And it's particularly important at this time because with concerns about occupancy rates, one of the key issues is supply growth and because uh, the industry was seeing a fairly uh, strong supply growth there uh, through 2009 and into 2010. This year's report shows as of the end of the first quarter of 2010 that we've seen a 32 percent drop year over year in construction starts and a 57 percent drop over the last two years. And so this is good news for the future in terms of the amount of new supply that will be coming online and should enable uh, occupancy rates to start to climb as we now are seeing uh, a real pickup in terms of absorption, meaning demand. And so with demand increasing and the amount of new supply coming online decreasing, that should bode well to start to see occupancy rates climb up. Very good. It, it seems like at any given time, uh, various players in this field can be up or down uh, depending on where they are. And uh, right now it looks like the REITs are doing pretty well for themselves. Why, why do you think that is? Well, I think the REITs have terrific access to capital. Uh, terrific access. Uh, they're, they're their, their balance sheets now are very, very strong. They've got access to the public equity markets, and they're really in a catbird seat right now mm -hmm. in terms of our sector. And I think the you saw the healthcare REIT uh, Merrill Gardens deal that was recently announced, about a 900, just a little under $900 million deal. First major deal announced taking advantage of, as a result of the RIDEA legislation, what's called the TRS structure, mm -hmm. taxable REIT subsidiary. I think that probably most of the major deals over the next six months, you're going to see uh, the REITs are going to be the players in those deals. They're able to be aggressive with pricing. Uh, as I said, they have uh, good cost of capital, good access to capital. And for our space right now, they're going to be the major players over this next year. It seems like right now the, the big question for providers and operators is when is capital going to free up? And while it appears nobody really knows the exact answer yeah. to that, if, if you were going to handicap that question, what would your sense be of, of when things are going to start to turn around a little bit? Well, I, I think uh, aside from the read activity that we've just talked about, I think in terms of debt capital, because part of that is something that I don't think is really, so to speak, controlled by our sector. It's, 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 it's banks' sense of, of how comfortable they're beginning to feel uh, in terms of lending again. But I think for our sector, as uh, uh, banks start to see and other lenders start to see occupancy rates climbing mm -hmm. and uh, they see now that supplies getting uh, growth is under control and I think as they start to see occupancy rates climbing and then also I think as fears of a double dip uh, subside mm -hmm. and there's no doubt that the fear of a double dip is like a cloud that hangs over everything and it makes people cautious not just consumers but also investors. Mm -hmm. So I think as those fears subside and as we start to see, I don't think it'll be a dramatic, but a gradual uptick in occupancy, I think that's then you're going to start to see some lenders say, hey, I want to be first in because I see an opportunity. And then when, when a couple jump in, then others are going to start to jump in. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's I, I think you'll see a return, but I don't think it's going to be a dramatic return. It's sort of a slow, gradual return. Very good. Well, thanks for your help, Bob, and enjoy the show. Thanks. Thank you.